Today we're talking about the Angler 24 Catch Light Reflector. All right, welcome back to Capture School. I'm here with Scott Hartwick. Yeah, good to see you again. Good to see you in the studio here. And we are talking about something that's behind me because it's a little too big to fit on our table here. It's an Angler 24 Catch Light Reflector. It's pretty big, actually. <laughs> I guess the 24 is the width, not the length, because it's really long. Yeah, so this is a new product by Angler, but not new on the market. There's a lot of other brands that have this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but this, I really feel, is a lot more affordable than what's out on the market currently. So we're going to talk about it and tell you guys a little bit about it today. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So All let's right. jump right in. The first thing is when you get this thing, you'll see that it comes in this really nice carry bag. So you can take this thing wherever you want to go. All oh. of that folds up and fits right folds in here. Folds up and fits right. It disassembles and, come, and goes into there. But uh, the nice thing is uh, when you get this, I mean, all the pieces are there. No tools required. It just kind of all pops together. And we didn't really need instructions when you put it together. We just no. kind of everything fit only one way. Yep. And it went together in just a couple of minutes. Yep. It's yep. really nice. Then we're ready to start shooting with it. So so a couple of things to, to notate here is you have your crossbars and then you have all your little knobs, but that other bracket actually tilts. So right now I have it tilted much yeah, yeah, more yeah. steeply than we shot on it. So yeah, so we have a picture of that. So it is a tilt tilt slash swivel. So bracket. this part is important right there that that actually lets you tilt it and everything. Well, and you need to do that so that you can tilt and get the, you know, fill in the shadows where you want, make sure you see the catch lights in the eyes and. Definitely. Uh, so easy to assemble, no tools required, pretty versatile for different people with different yeah, heights, absolutely. different kind of face structure and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, that was a great job. I mean, you used it, uh, was it last week, week before? Yeah, we used it on our insider shoot. Yeah. We got it. We got it right before that. We set it all up, and uh, and we started playing around with it right away. Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah. So something else to um, to mention about this, it comes with the speckled silver that's on here. This that you see behind me. So it's a speckled silver lining. Mm -hmm. There is an option, um, I believe, just from B and H that has a white liner you could put in there as well. Right. So, so it's separately. Separately. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, a yeah. separate add-on. But if you don't like that speckled silver, don't you know, don't be sad. You can always order the other piece. Sure. And it's a little more, yeah. And the white's a little more diffuse. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so those tensioning rods that you saw there, um, on the sides. So in that first picture, you're able to tighten this up as well. You were saying, right? Yeah. 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 So the idea is that, it, you know, it stretches, you can get the wrinkles out and then, so you get a nice smooth look and when you, it's not so much for the lighting, but it is for the catch lights. Yeah. So it's a nice smooth look in the catch lights. Yeah. It's pretty and it's, taut. And that's why it's so big. I mean, if you can see the thing behind you, it's, what is that, four feet across? It's pretty big. And yeah. so that, with the curvature eye, you still get it and it comes across both eyes. It's kind of kind of cool looking. Yeah, it looks like a little smiley face kind of in your eyes. Yeah. A little, like, upside down you. Yeah, so when you're doing headshots, that kind of thing, you have a ter typically a fairly large light source at the top and you'll get this one at the bottom. Yeah. Exactly. Very cool. So, so one of the main reasons, um, we've seen other flat versions of this. Uh, Tom actually shoots, shoots with a flat reflector like yeah. that, or you can hold the whiteboard, but a lot of this is for filling the shadows. So when you're actually using it, you can kind of get light underneath their chin, under their sure. eyes. It sculpts all the way around, not just here and then fades away. Yeah. It's the same all the way up and around. Yeah. Kinda so nice. like when we used it, we put a, a light above. Yep. And then we put this below, and then it was very easy to shoot by myself. I didn't need an assistant to hold the board. Or the, I didn't need or the, the client. Or the client, yeah. Yeah, so usually like, here, hold this whiteboard. You know, they're happy to do it, but now they don't have to. They don't have to. It just goes in there. You kind of tweak it a little bit. Yep. Um, one thing we did find out with too small of a modifier, it was harder to find that catch light and to find that. So I was trying with a really small beauty dish. Yeah, a little collapsible beauty dish. Or yeah. A, a larger Octobox or something you used or something. Yeah, so the bigger the, the light source, the more you can kind of reflect it down and back. It's not yeah. shooting over kind, it. Kind of fills in the whole length of it a little, a little more evenly, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. So, cool. So this is, um, you know, in our opinion, a pretty solid product. A lot more affordable than what's on the yeah. market right now and, um, and upgradable to yeah. the white. So I think it's a solid purchase. And I've seen some of this kind of reflector stuff in some of the newer soft boxes, the, the economy ones. And the stitching is terrible and the materials are terrible. This is pretty well built. Yeah. It's gonna hang around for a while. Yeah, we have a yeah. few, we have two or three angler 
projects in the studio, and we've been happy with them. They're not falling yeah. apart. They're oh, and a abused. lot of people use them. They yeah. get they get abused by a lot of people. So yeah. Yeah. So cool. Check this Angler Twenty Four out. Um, if you have further questions, put the comments below. Too bad we couldn't really show you this year. We'll probably do a follow up video actually shooting with this in the other studio. We have a little psych wall there. We'll get a model in and yeah. shoot with them. Sure. So um, for this preliminary, it was too big of a product to move it. We'd have to move everything out here. This so. is more of an unboxing and kind of a features thing. Yeah, we'll so, do a demo. Yeah, so we played with it already though. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll give another shot at it, I think. Yeah. Follow us and like, subscribe, and share the video as much as you can. We love hearing what you have to say. We'll see you soon.